Hello and welcome to another video on prime factorization and in this video we're going to use prime factorization to find all of the factors of a given number. So let's say let's start off by finding the factors so the factors of 20 and there's a few ways we could do this we could just simply list the factors of 20 so let's first of all do that so we know that the factors of 20 well 1 times 20 is 20 2 times 10 is 20, 3 is not a factor of 20, but 4 is, 4 times 5 is 20, and that is all of them. So we've listed all of the factors. We've got 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So there are six factors of 20. Now there is another way we could do this, and that is using prime factorization. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break 20 down into the product of its prime factors. So 20, we can say that 20 is equal to 10 times 2. I could have used 4 times 5, but in the end, we'll still end up with the same answer. Now, 10 is not prime. 2 is prime, but 10 is not prime. So I can break down 10 even further. 10 is the same as 5 times 2. So it's 5 times 2 times 2. And now we are done. We have fully broken 20 down into the product of its prime factors. 5 is a prime number and 2 is a prime number. So how does this help us? Well, if we know that 20 is made up of 5 times 2 times 2, then all we need to do is look at the different combinations we can get from these prime numbers, and that will give us all of our factors. So let's just kick off with, well, 1 is going to be a factor because 1 is a factor of every whole number. What else? Well, we've got 2, so 2 is another factor. We've got 5, 5 is another factor, but we've also got 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is a factor. So instead of 2 times 2, I can just simply write 4. What other combinations do I have? Well, I also have 5 times 2. So 5 times 2 is 10, so that's another factor. And finally, I could also have 5 times 2 times 2. 5 times 2 times 2 is a factor, and 5 times 2 times 2 is indeed 20 it's just the number we started with and we have done it we have got all of our six factors of 20 and you may be wondering why would i spend all of this trouble doing this when i could it's quite easy to list out the factors and the reason is because if we've got much larger numbers it's a lot harder to identify some of the factors but if we can break the number down um, then it makes it a lot easier plus another reason is because it's a lot of fun as well it's really enjoyable doing this i think anyway so let's do some more examples. So let's look at all of the factors of 108. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break 108 down into the product of its prime factors. Now straight away I know that 108 is 12 times 9. Neither of these are prime, so we can break them down even further. So six, uh, sorry, 12 can be broken down into 6 times 2. And then 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. Now we're almost done, but 6 is not prime, so 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. And then we've got times 2 times 3 times 3. And all of these are prime numbers. Now let's look at all of the combinations we can have. So let's start off with 1, because a 1 is, like I said, is a factor of all whole numbers. 2 is a factor. 3 is a factor. We've dealt, dealt with all of the single numbers. Now let's look at the different combinations. We could have... 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so that is another factor. We could have 2 times 3, which is 6. We could have 3 times 3. We could have 3 times 3, which is 9. That is another factor. Now, I think we've dealt with all of the 2 combinations, like the, the 2 number combinations. Now, let's have a look at the 3 number combinations. So, we could have 2 times 2 times 3 which is 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. We could have 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18. Um, and we could also have 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. We're not done yet though. So let's look at the four number combinations. So we could have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 9 is 36. But we could also have 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. 
So 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So if we multiply that by 2, that gives us 54. And the last one, if we just multiply all of them together, we could have 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 3, which we know is 108. So let's just undo that. So that is 108. And these are all of our factors. So I know that I haven't missed any out because I've gone through every single combination we could have had. If I didn't do it this way, if I listed all the factors, then I may have missed off something like 27 times 4, or perhaps 18 times 6, I might have missed that off. But doing it this way enables us to get every single possible, blah, every possible factor. Okay, let's do one more. And the last one I'm going to do are the factors of 2000. So pause the video, see if you can have a go at doing this yourself. So break down the number into the product of its prime factors and then see if you can find all of the different combinations of prime factors. So let's break it down. 2000. Well, 2000, that is the same as 200 times 10. And 200 can be broken down into 20 times 10. So it's 20 times 10 times 10. Now 20 can be broken down into 4 times 5, and then 10 can be broken down into 2 times 5. So it's 4 times 5 times 2 times 5 times another 2 times 5, and then finally 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2. So we've got 2 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5. We've got a lot of factors here. Now, just to make it a bit easier to track, I'm going to put all of the twos together. So this is two times two. We've got four twos being multiplied together. Two times two times two times two. And we've got one, two, three fives being multiplied together. So five times five times five. So let's have a look at our factors. So we're going to start with one. Always start with one. We've got two and we've got five. So those are our first three. Now let's look at, have the, look at the two number combinations. We can have two times two which is four, we could have two times five, which is 10, and we could have five times five, which is 25. Now let's look at the three number combinations. We could have two times two times two, which is eight. We could have two times two times five, which is 20. We could have two times five times five. So two times five times five is 50. And we could also have 5 times 5 times 5, and that is 125. So those are our three number combinations. Now let's look at the four number combinations. So we could have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. Now let's have three twos and one five. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, so that's 8 times 5, which is 40. Let's go on to another line. Now let's have two twos and two fives. So two times two times five times five. So two times five is 10 times another 10, that's 100. Now let's have three fives and one two. So five times five times five is 125, times two is 250. So those are the four number combinations. Now let's look at the five number combinations. So we could have all of these. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, so that's 10 times 2 is 20, 40, 80. Uh, or we could have 3 twos, 3 twos and 2 fives being multiplied together. So 2 times 5 is 10, 20, 40, 200. Or we could have 3 fives and 2 twos being multiplied together. So this was 125, 250, 500. Now let's look at the six number combinations. So we could have all of these guys. We could have two times two times two times two times five times five. Now to work that out, I could just do 2000 divided by five because that's the only one left over and that gives me 400. Or we could have all of these guys. So just missing off this two, that would give us 1000 and Finally, we could just have all of them be multiplied together, which is 2000. So how did you get on? Did you manage to find all of the factors of 2000? And if not, which ones did you miss off? Now, hopefully you found that video fascinating, like I did. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.